Mazel tov, it's a girl. <laughs> I'm joking. Today we are talking about a female superhero, though, which is really important. Because it has been branded by many different scenes as a bad choice. Today we're going to talk about Supergirl, and I'm going to let the big man lead while I take a sip. Uh, as I said before about uh, Supergirl, Kira zor is, of course, as everyone knows, Superman's cousin from the planet, from the planet Krypton. She is from the capital city of Kandor. She's technically older than Kala because she remembers him as a baby. But when, because of cryogenic stasis, she came to Earth basically the same age as she was when she left. And so by the time she came to Earth, kal was already an adult. So physically, he's older, but technically she is. But the main trailer is about basically Kara adapting to Earth customs and adapting to Earth life. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. the, the trailer actually points out the whole fact of what she really is. In my view, anyway. A the girl. That she, well, not, number one, a girl. And number two, the fact that she wants to be the superhero. Yes. Flat out. She doesn't want to hide. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because that's the direct opposite of what Mr. Kent wanted to do. Exactly. The thing is, is the fact that she wanted to reveal herself. She wanted to be a hero. She wanted to save people's lives. While Clark was on the opposite, he didn't embrace his powers because he wanted to be normal. He wanted to be a regular person. But he realizes his responsibilities of what he had to use his powers for. Correct. And for a lot of you who don't know, just for the comic side, you all know me as a Marvel asshole. That's fine and dandy. But Supergirl is actually one of my favorite DC characters. And I just want to know that she is actually, potentially, far more powerful than Superman. Yes. I hope you all know that. That is absolutely true. She has the potential of being stronger than Superman because, if you know, female Kryptonians develop their powers a lot faster than males do. And at a younger age. At a younger age. Which means they have more time to train with it. Absolutely. Including a, a deep focus that apparently the males seem to lack for some reason. Exactly. Which is why in like Man of Steel you saw the female... Fiora. Fiora. Kick the fuck out of Superman. Exactly. And it took Zod a little bit of time before he finally got used to his abilities. Yeah, even though he had the military mind and whatnot, he doesn't have that natural feeling for it. Which apparently the females do. So, it's going to be really important to see how she allows her power, her outstanding ways to come out amongst the people and how it will affect, eventually affect Superman, because it will. Of course, because when you're wearing the same suit, the same outfit of your cousin, with the exception of wearing a skirt, you're wearing that S, that means you're basically living up to his expectations and his name and representing him. Yep. Now, uh, I do think I'm going to make a prediction here as quickly as possible, because I think I'm going to make it really, really interesting. I'm guessing the first four seasons, if they make it that far, we see Power Girl. Most Hello. likely, if they if they add cannabis to the storyline and they add the cloning process, you're going to see Power Girl. And who would not want to see that little bit of Yuffie? Mm, <laughs> I think nobody will disagree. If you don't know what Yuffie is, it's self on self. Clones. Gotta love them. Of course. I mean, Superboy could also make an appearance too. Yeah, Superboy would be a great, great place to go. And that would be a nice way to add more people to this uh, DC world that they're slowly introducing. Exactly. So, we just wanted to hit you with that today. Uh, do you want to cap off with anything? Sure. Pers my personal opinion is that this show has to succeed because, as I stated, I've stated many times before, this isn't just about DC Comics. This isn't about Supergirl herself. This is about female superheroes. This show is to open doors for other female superheroes to be taken in the forefront in their own individuality and not just be labeled as sidekicks like the Avengers. With Black Widow. Mm, Black Widow. Um, yeah. No, the only real breakthrough for women, in all honesty, has been anime. Exactly. And even then, they play second part most of the time. Second part most of the time in, in that. But now, you have a show where you have a superhero who is a female, and she's in the forefront. And just imagine more movies with female characters, all those ones that pe people tend to ignore because they don't think they're worth time. Witchblade. Exactly. Which would also open the doors for the uh, male character Darkness. Exactly. Uh, you also have many, many others. Wonder Woman, which we're hoping really opens the door when uh, J Justice League comes out. Exactly. Supergirl. I mean, She-Hulk. Look, I can name any random number of brand characters, but a lot of them, these females are badass. I mean, they don't need men to stand by their sides. Why they always represent them as they need to, I don't know. Maybe it's just a 
overpowering male thing. I don't know. But, but anyway, we hope you catched the trailer, and if you haven't, please check it out. We'll make sure it's at the bottom of this link. And also, give us your opinions on what you thought about the trailer, and also the potential of how far Supergirl can go. Will it only last one season? Will it go two, three, maybe four? Could go five? Just give I'm, us your I'm opinion. I'm going to have to see the first six episodes before I make a call. Okay. So... We'll talk to you guys then. Also, remember, we really would love to touch on the subject with you guys. Uh, hit us with whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Gun control, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Just throw it out there. We review anything and everything, whether it's political, non-political, religious. I say fuck them all. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Later, guys.